All right, it's Saturday night. Uh, we are in Webflow. I'm uh, currently building my new website. Super excited. And I'm going to take you on a journey here together with me with uh, trying to hack in some nice uh, functionality to this work page. And that's going to be the main page when you go to my portfolio uh, where I want to showcase uh, my passion project and these concepts that you are very well aware of. Um, and I want to be able to, let me go to the site actually. This is the current stage. Um, you just have the main case studies here with the projects. Get a nice thumbnail on the right side when you hover. A little Easter egg here as well, hovering this one. You see all the clients that I've been very fortunate to work with. And then um, placeholder for now, but different initiatives that I have, like linking to live streams, tutorials, mentorship, my Patreon, uh, conference talk, or, or anything else. But on the right side here, this is my ambition to have this as a concept uh, feed where I have all these nice and exciting uh, concepts, but just to minimize load and overwhelmment here, I want each of these to load and play only when I hover each. So I'm gonna hover this Tesla Cybertruck concepts, I want it to play, and then once I go outside, I want it to stop. And I want each of these to function the same way. So I've been trying to plug and play this with Webflow, but I don't think they actually do this natively. So I've been hacking together some code uh, on the web this is what i love about development that you actually have to look for the solution you google like crazy and then you find something eventually that works so if you look at this it pauses when i go out and start when i go in this is exactly what i want and also i wanted to start on the first frame like this and then it continues so this is perfect so let's try to plug and play this into webflow and maybe i can share this uh, code for you because I've been literally looking all over the internet for this and this might be the solution. So let's copy the HTML. I'm going to go into Webflow. I'm going into my specific place here, a grid uh, div. I'm going to add a code component, an embed, and drag it in right here for now. And then let's place that HTML in. And since you can't really host videos in the same way, I just for now added on my old website, because it's gonna be old, and just have a link to this externally. Save this. Oh, okay, there we got it. For we want to style this. So then I'm just gonna add in some quick styling in line here 200 pixels in width and 150 pixels in height, and copy paste on each of the elements. Save that. Oh shit, it happened. All right, let's just do it for now. We just want the functionality in and then later we can style it in the perfect grid. Uh, okay, so then we need the JavaScript. So let's use this, copy paste this. And then I go in actually into the page itself. And then we have a custom code area and we're gonna place it in the body. And we say script and then end script. Save. And then also let's definitely go back and delete all these, these other tries I've been doing. <laughs> A lot of trial and error. Okay, there we go. And let's publish. All right. And then we refresh. And now let's see the moment of truth. Oh, there we go. All right, it loaded in the background. Damn, so excited it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen, people. Wow, just, damn, I love development. Just the way you can turn this into reality. It's not gonna land on a server somewhere in a sketch, Figma, XD, whatever tool you're using is gonna be live. You just have a, an idea with help of some code. I'm gonna for sure put this in the description for you to use on your own. Webflow web page. All right, so let's continue on here. Uh, now it looks funky, so let's copy paste this HTML embed. We're gonna use this for each of the videos. So we go into the first one, click edit, and we're now gonna remove everything but one. And we're gonna now change this to width 100% as well because we wanted to just take up the full width and then the height is going to be automatically after that like that exactly and then we go back to this one 
And we'll do a second one. Actually in here. Section. 100%. And then let's just automate this. So we have the third one here. And then we have the fourth here. Alright, so now we can just copy paste this in the other two. Use these, copy everything, delete this, boom, third one, edit, paste, steal this, replace it, copy everything, delete this, save, and number four. Copy paste, repeating myself again and again until you're done. Delete. All right, there we go. We got four. Delete these images, and then we want to add in even more HTML embeds here in videos to make it fill in like a feed. Copy that one. Copy the second one third one, fourth, and number five, number six, we can actually come from it, two, and then number three, and number four. Okay, that should be good. Okay, let's publish this and see how it looks like. All right, so there we go. We're done. We have now added in videos embedded to play on hover and stop when you hover out. We also style this grid like a feed and it works pretty much like magic. And speaking of magic, I really want to take a moment here to shout out my dear friend, designer and developer Alex Harden and his amazing work that he do here in Webflow. He's really been the inspiration for me to get into Webflow and finally redesign my website here. And he's been helping me along the way and I'm sure he can assist you as well if you need any help. So definitely check out his website or his Webflow portfolio. I can link it in the description. And just before I leave you, I definitely want to go through some of his work. Here's one that we are very familiar with, a Formula One concept that I made in the past. Uh, scrolling through some Formula One teams tap into one of them and they roll in physically on the screen really nice especially on mobile and he did this all in secret i didn't know he made it and i got super pumped to see it uh, afterwards the next one here is really cool as well some parallax uh, effect here when you move your cursor around click in you really immerse yourself in this fog and then you get to the new page and then here we have another one with a car and I really like the subtle movement here. As you can see, it's uh, you're standing still, but as a car do, they move a little bit uh, from the engine. So just really nice effects here. And then we got Netflix. Uh, could always be improved here. Small things like a 3D grid of uh, pictures instead of a flat asset. Some really nice dynamic stuff here in the bottom. And yeah, just in general, great work. So be sure to check out Alex, links in the description. Okay, so that's it for now. Unexpected Webflow tutorial here for a change. But let me know in the comments what you think and if you want to see more of this process. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you very soon again.